12 on a Monday morning. A little bit of blue sky off in the distance. However, don't get used to it. Jen says the forecast is changing. I will check in with her here in just a moment. A local high school student will be heading to the nation's capital this week. He is a finalist in the Intel Science Talent Search. This is the most prestigious science research competition for high school seniors. Jesse Zhang from Fairview High School up in the Boulder area to tell us about this. Mm -hmm. Jesse, this is a big deal. Yeah, yeah, I'm really excited. So give us a little bit of a background on, on what type of award this is if you happen to, to come home with the victory. Uh, so this is a science fair, so it's looking for science students, uh, specifically high school students who are into science research. And I'll be going there uh, next week to present my own research and my own findings. And uh, if things turn out, there's, there's a lot of, um, I guess, public awareness for my own research and uh, other awards like that. Because what you're studying is called a, the Atlantic Ocean Stratospheric Warming. Right? The effects on the Atlantic Ocean from stratospheric warming. Is that correct? Uh, actually, it's the other way around. I'm looking at this uh, atmospheric anomaly called sudden stratospheric warming. Okay. And I'm looking at how the Atlantic Ocean can contribute to that and how it can ultimately trigger it. Now, what, what does it trigger? What, what are the results of the triggering? Do we see this? Uh, yeah, it, that's a really good question. Um, so, sudden stratospheric warming is part of a larger uh, phenomenon called polar vortex weakening. The and polar that's, vortex? Yeah, that's, that's been all over the news. Everybody remembers, yeah. we got cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that's really what's causing all these severe snowstorms coming down. And if we can better understand how this stuff is triggered, we can better predict it and better correlate it with things we can observe in the ocean. So this, does this play into the whole climate change, man-made climate change? Is all this kind of interconnected, or is this something separate from that? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's very connected. And this polar vortex, uh, obviously, is a big deal. Um, I was on the East Coast, actually, a few weeks ago, and my flight was delayed a whole week uh, because of these severe snowstorms. And the thing is, we're still not really that good at predicting exactly when it's going to happen and how strong it's going to be. Now, how do they pick a winner? Do they, do they go by, do they, do they validate your research? <laughs> like, like what, what are the categories on how they determine who's the best uh, high school scientist? Uh, well, it's just a series of judging. Um, I think they really look for uh, how much you've been involved in your research, how well you can present it, and really what you found. So I now, mean, it's a long process. I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only adult to ask you this. What do you plan to do when you get through college with, with your, your skills as a scientist? Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, right now I'm really excited about science. Um, I'm really excited about a lot of different types of science. So I think in college uh, I'll find something that I really like and I'll pursue that afterwards. I tell you what, everybody's rooting for you. We absolutely <laughs> are you. rooting for you. Jen, he could be your next go-to guy yeah. over <laughs> at uh, NOAA or anywhere. Yeah. Have you decided where you're going to school? Uh, not yet, uh, East Coast or West Coast. Ah, yeah. all Who right, Jesse. <laughs> Maybe you should consider well, Jesse, being a meteorologist. Yeah, like, wait nice a minute, might want to go off the road to CU or CSU. Both of them have great science departments. Um, guys, 